This one's 30 cents. I'll grab that one. Yes, sir. Oh, she's cute. But I think she yeah, she was missing fingers. Missing fingers. Always. McQueen of this whole nursery. When I was little.
Pink. Mm -mm. Pam. Oh, look. Oh, look at you fancy. Somebody like dogs. I'm here again with my sister. Hopefully we're filming on my phone right now because the GoPro battery died super fast and the spare battery was at 45% and it had never been used after being charged. So they die fast. So hopefully my phone gets us some footage. So the next haul that I have, and I have a little bit of footage from inside the store that I'll attach to the beginning of this video. So technically you would have already seen it. But St. Vincent opened. I was so excited. Um, St. Vincent Thrift Store. It is the only thrift store around here that has opened. With the exception of Goodwill. But Goodwill is like a good 30 minutes from me. So in my local area, it's the only thing that has opened. And when they opened, they did a 50% off the entire store. So I went in there, tried to social distance as much as I could. Mask on face. And I got a few things. And this Jenna is going to help me. Alright, so this is one of the first things that I got there. Uh, light. See, it's a diorama. There's Native Americans right there. It's like 3D. From what I found, these were made in the 30s. But that's... I have to do a little bit more research. 
little bit more research, but that's what I was finding for some of these dioramas. They're by the Landscape View Company, and I need to do more research so I know their value. But I got this half off, and it was two dollars and fifty cents. I can't tell you how excited I am to pay some thrift store prices. <laughs> so I got that. That's really neat. Then I found this big mama jamma. You can hold your books. You can hold like I, I was taking pictures of this and I put this in there to hold it up so I could take pictures. Um, so this was five, but I got it half off for two fifty. This giant like easel thing. That'd be cool for painting if you didn't get paint all over it. Yeah. Then the next item I got was this kind of brassy bowl. It looks like it's like a bunch of soldering. It's really cool. Like it's really neat. Like the this the middles were soldered together. I got it, it was $10, but I got it for five. So I'm hoping I can at least get, I don't know, maybe $30 for this online. We'll see. I didn't really look that one up, I just kinda grabbed it. Yep, then they had a couple little babies, little baby ones. This one was $3, so I got it for $1.50. And these, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell or if I'm going to use when I take photos and for like my own decor to hold things up. Got this guy and he was a dollar. Don't mind the lighting. It's like about to pour and we're in the garage, of course. Sweating to death. And look, I got my hair up for those of you that thought I played with my hair too much. It's a... The next thing I got, I already have this guy listed. I thought it was really cool. I think those are like, what do you think? Llamas. Llama with that tail. Antelope. Horse. No. I don't know. You guys tell me. Leave it in the comments down below if you know what this is. Um, it also has that mark right there. I'm not sure what that's about. Don't mind my dirty fingers. Um, I got this little planner for $1.50. And... I don't know. I think it's cool enough to get 20, 25 out of it. I think it's neat. All right. Uh, Next item. Yep. Again, I got them there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did. I did. I grabbed this. It's a Walmart brand peach and mango candle. I got it for a dollar fifty. It's half off. I mean, I'm sure you guys have established that already. Then I got a Yankee candle in Christmas cookie. And it was a dollar fifty. Did you smell it? Mm -hmm. Oh wait, you don't like vanilla, don't you? No, no. that one was okay. it smells good. All right, then I got this. It's a like a thing of like a tool material. I got it for like wrapping packages and stuff. It was a dollar. This one's fun. Mm -hmm. I was looking at them. These are well. I first of all, I got the whole bag. They had it marked ten dollars, so I got it for five. There's five books in here, and they are the Home Needlework Magazine. Like, look at the, the, the advertisements, the graphics on the back. And this one is actually July 1901. So next month, 119 years ago, some lady was reading this book. And it shows you in here, like, how to make these things. And it, it tells the lady's directions on how to do it. And one of these actually has an old, um, like a, a brochure or something, whatever you want to call it, for those old sewing machines. Like she took it out of a paper and stuck it in the book. It's really cool. But this even shows, you know, all those fancy beaded purses that we like to find? It shows them how to make those. Nope, that's... <laughs> These books have these papers in it and it shows them how to order them, order the books again or pay for their subscription. Um, let's see. So this one's April 1900 and they all kind of have the same thing on the back. And then some of them have colored photos and they have advertisements on the inside. But one of them does have an insert of a of an ad that they, yeah, I think that's it actually. Oh, it's with a pen too. Okay, so they took this out of like another paper or something, 
but it's an ad for old sewing machines. Like, look at that. Seventeen dollars. Alex, we have one of those sewing machine tables. That Do you? Kinda, yeah. It's not. It doesn't look like that, but like. Um, That's cool. It opens up and it's like in the bottom. So I thought that was neat. So we have July nineteen hundred. We have January nineteen oh one. April nineteen hundred. April nineteen oh one. July nineteen oh one. I showed you in July nineteen oh two. So I think one two. Three, four, what? Six books? Four, five, six, yeah. six books. And I got, I paid five dollars for these hundred plus year old books. I thought that was really awesome. I think someone will dig those. Ooh, I like this one. This one is by um, the House of Webster. And they have, they come in different colors. So my jar in particular has the white bottom with the yellow lid or like the cream bottom with yellow lid they come like all yellow all cream so this one doesn't have any chips or cracks i've not seen one listed that has like a handle so i'm not sure if it came with one of those bamboo handles but it's in really really good shape other than crazy but that right there if you guys ever see that stamp is the house of webster oh, did you see that very well there you go I'm trying not to talk too, too much because I don't know how long it's going to let it record me. Um, I picked up a nail polish and it was 25 cents. And then I picked up this little guy it says made in Japan with their lighting in there. I didn't realize he has a little chip on his nose, but it's just one of those mini mugs. So I paid 50 cents for him. Do you know what this is? No. They would use these to rinse out their eyeballs. Oh, isn't that neat? So this was, well, okay, that goes to something else. This was marked $3, but of course I got it for $1.50, the little eyeball thing. That's really neat, isn't it? I've never found one of those at a thrift store. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to go crazy. So I saw her in their special case, and I was like, oh, I don't even want to know what price it is. But... She does have a little bit of damage. Most of the time, these girls don't have any eyelashes or any fingers. She is missing part of her earring on this side. She has like the whole thing here. But on the underside, she has chips on her head or on her, the brim of her hat. She was only marked $3 and I got her for $1.50. I mean, these things, so even broken, they sell for like $30, $40, $50. Yeah, um, broken. On her lip though. Yeah, she's got a little bit of smudginess, missing lipstick. This needs to reapply. But these are lady head bases. That's what they're called. They're popular. This one is missing a stopper. Okay. It would have had a stopper. All right, so then I have, I just picked this up. I thought it was kind of cool. A lot of people like little brass things. It says made in England. It says Bonnie Scotland. I think it's a Scottish thistle. And it's just this little dish. What's a thistle? It type of plant it almost oh. looks like um, holly leaves like you know like holly berry stuff but it's called a Scottish thistle it had it's similar in look and I got it for a dollar man my freaking nails are gross from doing all this stuff okay Let me take off my shoe because my ankle into the concrete is not happening this was with their bathroom stuff this says Limoges, France, and it says hand-painted. We have new neighbors across the street. So Limoges, France, hand-painted. It was a dollar. So I got it for 50 cents. And I believe it has, I got like a mashing cup to go with it. I think that's a dollar. Oh yeah. So one cup has a chip. I got two cups. One of them has a chip and one of them doesn't. Yeah, so this one says Limoges, France, hand painted. So 50 cents, it came, it came with a spoon. I don't know if that goes in there, but there's another cup just like this and it has a chip on the rim and I really didn't notice it. Did you wanna show the other cup? Yep, here's the other one. So if you just did it for decor, like um, Q-tips or something, if you weren't really trying to put your mouth on it, I think you'd be good. Yeah, see, it was a dollar. Cool. I got this for my little 
vintage Florida display that I want to make. I want to find cute vintage Florida, like touristy stuff. Okay, I'll and keep make, an eye out for you. Yeah, and make a little shelf. So it's a little left in plate. And it is marked 1987. So it's not like 1950s flamingos, but they're still cute. They're not cheesy looking. And it's just a little plate and it's left in. I got it for 50 cents. Did I say that? I'm sure I did. All right. This girl, I'm gonna say it again, was cute. Gabriel says, you need to come up with another word. Mom says that too. Yeah. Uh, um, no, she didn't have anything broken on her. So she was $3. She's darling. She's darling. $3. She doesn't have a maker on her, so I got her for $1.50. I mean, that's not why I got her for $1.50, but you're such a good helper. I like the goat thing. Isn't it cool? I paid, this is marked originally $6. I paid mm -hmm. 3 though. I got this handmade, like, antelope goat. I think it's a goat. Goat, right, with the big thingies on the top. Horns? Horns, that's what I mean, yep. Yep, I'm not good with descriptive words. <laughs> I need to get me a thesaurus. <laughs> but it was originally $6, so I paid three. But I thought it was really cool. I don't really see these kinds of things. You maybe see, like, a bird or something, but these, I thought that was really cool. You don't really see big ones, but the, like those little birds that I gave you. Yeah, I, I have them still. But All right. The big ones are hard. This I thought was really cool. I'm gonna see if I can get this off, maybe to clean it out. But it's like it's um. I'm trying to feel. Maybe it is. I'm trying to feel if it's cut glass or pressed. See down here, it feels kind of sharp. Mm, it's giving me a run for my money. But anyways, it's a little perfume thing. It's missing its little thing. But how freaking pretty is that? Look at the goop inside. From it was probably yeah. Look at it. It was like the old perfume. It was probably laying on its side. That's why I was saying I want to see if I can get this thing off. Do the flowers smell like the perfume? No, I can't smell anything but I thought that was really cool and I paid 50 cents for it. So I'm gonna see if I can get that off. More and more. Yep. And the flowers look like they were pretty good shape. Oh yeah. So I sold a couple of paintings by this person. I had some bigger paintings. They're, they're, his name is Max Sabi. Um, but I found some little paintings the other paintings I had were long and skinny. So this one was framed already. It was originally $5 and I got it for $2.50. So Max Savvy right there. I did see here like the canvas, it's got like a bubble in it and I didn't notice it in the store. Like the canvas might be coming apart from whatever it was painted on because I have to take that off to be able to see. But his paintings sell pretty well, Max Savvy. He is a, like a legit professional painter. And then this one was next to it. They have like a whole ship display, like a nautical display. This one is a real person. Like, I mean real, like it's, uh, you know, not really folk art. It's, it was a real artist. Um, not that folk artists aren't real artists. Don't get me wrong, okay? <laughs> but this is E. Woodson. And there's a little bit of something on there that I have to get off on the top, like probably with a lightly wet cloth but that's really pretty too. The ocean, and they're in the same sort of frame. So they came from the same place. I don't really dig the frames. Mm, lots of spoons. Oh yeah, well I'm gonna show these. Okay, so these spoons were in a jar and they were either a dollar or 50 cents. So some of them I got for 50 cents, some of them I got for a dollar. I'm not gonna show them all, but there are some cool ones in here like this one from Colorado. Um, we got, oh, look, I got like a ton of spoons. I got them to have little things to put in my live sale. So like this one is Mount Rushmore. So I got it for 50 cents. 
And then the little Aztec one, this one I believe is alpaca silver, which would be like a nickel silver. Well, it really isn't silver at all. It just looks silver. So that one's really cool. Then there was a couple of Florida ones. Um, there's some that are from other countries. There's a lot of spoons there. Hi, Mom. Hi. Next thing. <laughs> All right. The next thing I have is this cute little blue jar, like a powder jar, trinket jar, something like that. I thought it was really cool. It doesn't have a maker. It doesn't have any chips or anything. It was four, so I got it for two. It's a little blue and white jar. All right, these, I thought the color and the shape were really cool. They're like, um, like maybe early 90s. They're by Sango. The collection is Nova Brown. But I just like the shape of these because these can totally fit someone's mid-century pottery vibes. So half off, they were $2. So I got the, the lidded sugar and the creamer. And I can see like a like a bluish purpley. So I like that. Next thing I picked up over there were these. And these again feel like I can't tell if they're cut glass. Well there's like a line, so I don't know. Well cut glass will feel like it's gonna cut your finger if you touch it. Pressed glass has more soft edges. But anyways, these little salt and pepper shakers, I got them for $2. They were half off. So I thought those were really pretty. These were sitting next to the little blue perfume bottle that I got. Oh yeah. So I picked this up because I wanted to ask Misty's dad if, so dad, if you're watching, you tell me if you think this is like a man-made, now you guys will be able to hear the rain, like a man-made something, some kind of quartz or something like that, but it, it looked too perfect. So I think it's like hand cut, but I got it for a quarter. So I thought that was cool. Do I have anything else? A couple more things and then we'll be done. Mom, I had to try and use my phone because both batteries were at 43%. Even the one that I charged sitting, it didn't keep its charge. I have one more like this. All right, so another thing I got was these. I think these are pheasants. Ma, is that a pheasant? Oh, my goodness. See, that's the bird I think these are, Jenna. Uh, you know what, it makes sense. That's why I thought these were pheasants. She was thinking maybe a peacock because of the long thing. And I'm like, even with this thing? Yeah, peacock. And that's what she was saying, but then this one looks similar. So I don't know. It can be what you want it to be. So I got this one and this one, and they were both $2.50 a piece. So I thought that was pretty cool. And they have like a cardboard backing and like a brass on the front. Oh my goodness. Oh, did you see what that is? I wonder who I got that for. Thank you. You're welcome. Next thing I got was this little November, um, uh, who is these? Oh, Precious Moments from the year 2000. I don't normally buy Precious Moments. Some of them are worth some money, some of them, um, but it was only 30 cents, so it made it 15 cents, so I had to grab it. So I got that girl, and I think we only have a couple more things. I've sold one of these already. These um, like soup bowls. It's very Otsugiri style. I got it for 50 cents. I usually sell these for about $12. And the last thing I have, oh wait, hold on, I'll show this. I did get this for Jenna. It's a stitch, a Lilo and Stitch thing. I got it for 15 cents. There's also a pen in the back. Oh yeah, that's, they have pens in packages and you have to open them up out of the new package to sign your receipt, and then you take the pen with you. This Last thing I got, mom, check this out. This towel. 
orders the beef. Oh my god. <laughs> that's Wendy's. Yeah. That's the that's the lady that was from the Wendy's. Yeah, the old lady in the drive thru commercials. Where's the beef? So on the bottom it says copyright nineteen eighty four. It's as old as you are. It is. It's gonna be thirty six years old. Look at that. So this girl, or this was marked two dollars, so I got it for a dollar. I didn't even look it up because it was a dollar. So that is everything we have from St. Vincent, the 50% off sale. I mean, I have way more spoons and stuff, like way more. Whoopsie. Way more. Nothing but, broke. But uh, uh it's a lot of spoons to go through. So, anyways, guys. Thank you so much for coming back to the Alex show <laughs> with my co-hosts, Jenna. Don't forget to leave us what your favorite item is down below. And what, what else? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. I guess so. And we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Bye.